Hello everybody. In today's video, we shall see the magnetic field due to a circular current carrying coil. Let us see the required material for doing this activity. This is the copper coil of around 30 tons, double cell, two styrofoam balls and one sieving needle and this is a bar magnet. We have to rub it in order to magnetize it in a single direction for 20 to 30 times like this. Let us see the activity now. Let's start our today's activity. We have taken a current carrying coil. This is a circular coil. The circular coil has around 30 tons. Now the two ends of the coil are free. These are the two ends of the coil. In the center, I have suspended one stainless steel uh, needle. This is magnetized already. I'll show you how to magnetize the needle later. Now, if we pass some current into this coil, by connecting the two ends with the ends of the battery, we shall see the deflections in the... An easy identification of this two terminals. Let me take two styrofoam coils, which is red and blue in color. Now, I am just uh, keeping it to the two edges of this magnetized nail so that we can see the deflections very easily. Right? Now it is appearing clearly to us. Now let us check whether it is magnetized or not. Yes. Right? So this is North Pole. Let's see, this is attracting towards, this red pole is attracting towards north, that means it must be south, right? Now, see this is south, this blue ball is attracting, so this blue ball is north. Now, we came to know that it deflects only when it is kept in the external magnetic field. Now, let us find out, when the current is passed through this coil of 30 tons, whether this magnetic needle deflects or not. If it deflects, it shows that this coil is also creating some magnetic field. Now, let me take one small battery and connect to the two ends. Of so, we can observe that when the two ends are connected to the battery, the current flows through it and it deflects the magnetic needle. That means the current carrying coil is creating some magnetic field. Now let us see the magnetic field due to the current carrying coil at a particular point on the axial line. So this is the diameter and uh, at a point distance x from the center of this coil is axial line. Let us say this is an axial line. Here we are considering the point P at a distance x from the center. Let us draw the diagram. Let us say this is the coil of diameter let us say the radius of this is a and we are considering a point away from the coil at a distance x from the center let us say this is the point p which is at a distance x from the center right now in order to find out the magnetic field due to this entire coil we consider small elements of the coil and then we integrate the entire coil. So these uh, papers represent the small current coil, let us say these two elements. So when we talk about a small element, magnetic field due to a small element, we use Bad's Hort's law. So according to Bad's Hort's law, magnetic field due to a small element dB is given by mu naught by 4 pi ideal sin theta by r square where r is the distance between the current element and the point let us see what is the distance between this current element and the point from here to here it is very clear to us that it is forming a right angle triangle so this is of the distance a square plus x square because hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square let us consider this is making an angle theta right now, what is the angle between this current element and this radius vector we shall see. See, this is the current element and this is the radius vector. So, when we see this axial line from here to here, the distance between these two, the angle between these two is 90 degrees. 
and see it is forming a T shape right so whichever direction we move the angle between this current element and the radius vector is always forming 90 degrees so theta is equal to 90 degrees here therefore you can write db is equal to mu naught by 4 pi ideal sin 90 value 1 by r here r is nothing but under root a square plus x square whole square right therefore db is given by mu naught by 4 pi ideal by a square plus x square this is due to the point let us say this is point a in the similar way we consider one more point b one more element again in the same way we will find out the magnetic field due to this current element now let us see the direction let us say if this is the distance now the sketch is showing the direction perpendicular to it see so this is the direction of db which is perpendicular to radius vector and as well as the current element radius vector and this is the direction of magnetic field db let us say this is the direction of magnetic field db now we can resolve this db into two components right this is one component horizontal and this is vertical component because the angle theta here also the angle becomes theta the reason is this is a perpendicular line to this right this is the normal and this is the perpendicular to this when these two lines are making an angle theta the normals of these two lines also make the angle theta so that is the reason both angles are same now this is horizontal component db cos theta this is vertical component db sin theta right in the same way if we continue our experiment with the with another point b then it becomes the magnetic field will be this side let us say from here point b this current element this is the distance again a square plus x square and magnetic field will be perpendicular to this right and again we resolve this into two components right this is db cos theta and this is db sin theta db sin theta so both are getting added up therefore so here we can write the total magnetic field due to the entire coil is only due to these vertical components because horizontal components are getting cancelled as both are in opposite direction so entire coil is given by integral db sin theta because this is the component which is due to this element and this is the component due to this element in the same way if we consider any component all will be showing the same direction db sin theta so for the entire coil the db sin theta vertical component is the reason for the magnetic field that's why integral db sin theta is the entire magnetic field b right now integral db we will write this value here mu naught by 4 pi ideal by a square plus x square right from this triangle sin theta you take this triangle so what is sin theta opposite side by hypotenuse right so here opposite side is a by hypotenuse under root a square plus x square right now let us continue now b is equal to integral mu naught by 4 pi i dl a by a square plus x square whole to the power of 3 by 2 the reason is this is power 1 this is power 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 becomes 3 by 2 right now this all constants we will write outside we will integrate only through the entire coil so dl will remain inside the integration remaining all things are written outside i a by a square plus x square whole to the power of 3 by 2 integral dl 
what is meant by integral dl all the small elements are integrated together to give the entire circular coil right so this becomes what circumference of the circular coil which is equal to 2 pi a because this is the radius now we will write mu naught by 4 pi i a by a square plus x square whole to the power of 3 by 2 into 2 pi a right now we can write this equation finally as mu naught by 4 pi 2 pi i a into a we'll write a square into i by a square plus x square whole to the power of 3 by 2 what is pi a square it is area right so we will write mu naught by 4 pi into 2 into a into i by a square plus x square whole to the power of 3 by 2 if this is only for the one loop if we consider the coil of n number of turns we have to multiply this with n now this new quantity can be substituted in the place of number of turns, area of the coil and current flowing through it by a quantity called magnetic dipole moment. So we will write the final equation as 2m by a square plus x square whole to the power of 3 by 2. This is the final formula for the magnetic field due to the current carrying coil at a point on the axial line. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,